Hello everyone, this is AV Creative. Now today we are going to do something special. It's Christmas season and I thought that we are going to make and decorate a lovely Christmas tree. I know perhaps it's not something very original and lots of other artists did it before, but as usual I'm going to do it my way and I'm going to combine certain techniques and I hope that you are going to enjoy the process. This is the canvas I'm going to use today. It's 11 by 14 canvas by Arteza. It's really nice, it's very, can you hear it? Really nice taut. Um, and these are the colors we're going to use. These paints are by My Artscape. Taylor green, we've got pale green, yellow green, and viridian. So four shades of green plus black and a bit of titanium white. I'm going to mix one of the colors really quickly to show you how I mix these paints. This paint is a heavy bodied paint, very well pigmented. So I'll just need a small amount with uh, quite a lot of pouring medium to mix it. As you can see, I just took a really small amount and I'm adding my pouring medium, which is 50% of PVA glue. I'm, I'm using bookbinding glue, which is archival, and 50% of water. These paints mix really well because they're very, very smooth. And I'm going to add a bit of Floetrol. I would say maybe 10% of the whole mixture. And mix it again. The paints are all mixed now. To be honest I don't actually really measure anything. I just look at the consistency and the consistency of my paint is like this. So it runs really nicely. I call it the runny honey. Just a tiny build up that disappears. I hope you can see. So it's very important that all the paints are equally mixed and they've got the same consistency. I would say I used maybe even a quarter of paint and three quarters of pouring medium because as I said I don't really measure. So I'm ready to do the background. So I'm spreading my black paint using my palette knife. You see all the little dots? If you're wondering what happened, there was just a tiny bit of silicone in the container where I mixed my black paint and I thought, well, I'll just leave it and see what happens because hopefully when I spread the green branches, that might sort of affect the paint. Hopefully. I did not add any silicone to the green colours. Okay, I would say this is done. I'm starting with my darkest green. And I'm kind of pouring it here at the bottom. I'm not going to be super careful. I'm just spreading paint randomly. I'm going to spread the paint so at the moment I'm layering. Oh yeah, that will be that will be the height probably. Okay, next a bit of the lighter one. I want to leave some gaps between the branches. Okay, time for the the other tones. Okay, now what shall I do? Should I use my little swiping tools with the tissue paper? That's what I would do. It's looking cool even now. Some of you might remember my little invention uh, from my uh, feather video that actually got very very popular so I might use these just little cutouts and just some ripped tissue as well I don't want it perfect that's why I'm kind of ripping it randomly let's start with these so I just use any uh, napkin paper towel Sometimes even toilet paper, you know, to swipe.
tree how about that why not let's just try adding a tiny bit of white so i think i'm just going to dip tissue paper and swipe it over in some sections i really don't want it to be too perfect okay now i will be spreading the white or maybe maybe i will even use my very old straw and try to blow it a bit that creates some really interesting sort of shapes you can see some cells being created as well and now i'm going to be just playing with little red tissue to extend some of the branches maybe even move this well let's call it snow <laughs> it's such a fun project It'd be a really nice project for to to do with your kids perhaps or just as a little christmas gift for someone so basically you just play with it till you are happy I think I forgot about the stem, but I had the just tiniest amount of brown in one of the pots. So and maybe a bit of brown here. Okay, so I think that will be probably the end of part one. And I'll wait for my tree to get dry. And then maybe we can decorate it nicely. Well, the tree is ready now. And I was thinking, yeah, I quite like, you know, this kind of snow-covered tree. However, I really want to decorate it. It's Christmas time. And I know that if you're watching with, with your kids, they would like all the lovely glistening bubbles and decorations and the chains. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've prepared uh, various selections of items I'm going to use. So first of all, you might remember these from my uh, leaves uh, series. These are the acrylic skins. I also have some skins poured on uh, paper. So I'm going to use these as well. I'm going to cut out some decorations, some more skins. Uh, I've decided that the colour scheme would be gold, red, uh, white, perhaps silver as well. So that's it. I'm also going to use Posca pens, I think, uh, maybe one of my white gel pens. And most of all, I have to show you what else I have. I've got this amazing set. <laughs> These are 54 glitter jars, Artezo's glitter jars. And I thought, well, this is absolutely perfect time to use them. They're all kinds of shades and colours absolutely amazing so i'm sure they'll be very 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 handy look at the selection and the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to use a hole puncher and i'm going to just make some smaller bubbles christmas bubbles uh with this skin i actually opened the back of it so they can fall out easily Okay, so I will be making some holes for quite some time. You may get yourself some nice drink. I've got this nice sort of golden flowers and I think I'm going to make some of the bubbles bigger. I'm choosing just a lid. You know, I, I think some of them will be this size. So I'm just going to press them here. To know where to cut and I'm going to cut it out I wish I had a bigger hole puncher just pressing it down to make an imprint uh, now I'm going to use the same glue as I'm using for my pouring medium which is the book binding PVA Collal, it's the same as uh, Line Co. I'm, I feel like I'm decorating my, my Christmas tree and I'm going to take my own Christmas tree as reference. I'm going to try to make it 
a bit similar. I'll show you the real uh, the real thing later on. So I'm just taking a little brush, putting some glue on. I diluted it a bit with water, and I'm choosing the right spot. <laughs> And maybe it should go a bit lower. I'm pretty fussy. I mean, I'm the only person decorating my Christmas tree. I just really like it my way. I do let people help, though. And now I think maybe I should probably find some kind of tweezers. However you call it, just to hold them. It reminds me of jewellery making process. Because I do use those skins for jewellery. I've never cut such small ones. So this is all basically out of pouring acrylics. Everything I'm using is pouring paints. I'm adding a few little stars, bronze colour. Trying to put them on the darker sections so they'll be seen well. And let me try some Posca pens in red. This is again, this is uh, Posca pens are actually filled with liquid acrylics. I'm also going to draw some little uh, stars because my tree has plenty of those white, lovely uh, snowflakes and stars that my mum makes. Well, I just had to go and find my Christmas box decora decorations and my Christmas stuff because I wanted to show you the amazing snowflakes that my mum makes. They are so pretty, and each one is different. We always have a little game, like, which one is your favourite? Oh, I could never decide which one's my favourite. I don't think I can, I can do those angels, that would be such a hard work. Now I'm thinking, uh, how about some candy cane in places? Well, I feel like decorating my Christmas tree earlier this year. Once I've done this, I've almost done. I've decided to add it some highlights using that as a gold, just on those big bubbles, because they didn't look round enough for me. Tiny bit of shiny gold. So now I'm going to draw some little stripes on the candy cane um, with my Posca pens. Oops. I'm also going to uh, just sketch very quickly the Christmas star, uh, but I'm going to cover it with glitter. I'm just kind of trying to position it, but since the paint is still wet, I can wipe it. So of all those 54 colours of glitter, I chose only gold and red, and look how many different shades I have. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, the golds, so many golds, champagne gold, solar gold, antique gold, holographic gold. Well, when you use glitter, I just one thing I wanted to say, I mean, I'm very, very careful how I use glitter. And I'll show you in a minute when I use one colour, how I gather it to get back uh, to the bottle. I don't want to wash it up. I don't want it to end up in the sink. So just be super careful. Okay, so which gold shall we go for? I think we're quite a few colours. With a very, very small brush, I'm just dipping my brush in my uh, glue mix and I'm making some highlights where I want to put the glitter. So just a bit of glitter on these. have to be super quick because I don't want the glue to dry. Okay, now with the glitter of my choice, going to sprinkle directly onto my glue. Now I'm going to use a very soft brush and then I remove the excess of glitter. You may wonder why didn't I put all the colours and sp sprinkle whichever I want. It's because if I shake it off all, all the colours together, I would have to throw the glitter away. I don't want to have multicoloured glitter. I'm just doing it one colour at a time. I sometimes decorate coasters or other pieces of functional art. 
is a video when I make coasters using glitter if you're interested. Now I'm collecting the leftover glitter and I'm putting it back. Well, you may think it's a bit time consuming, but you have to think about the environment. You definitely don't want it to end up in, in the sea. If you are not using biodegradable glitter. Okay, ready for another color. I'm going to paint the star with glue now. And I'm going to use the lightest gold I found, which is champagne gold. And now I'll be adding some of the red glitter uh, to some of my red bubbles. I don't think I can replicate those angels, but I think I'm just going to make a few small uh, sort of icicles or something like this. Hanging down. It's such a nice project to sort of have fun with your family. And I'm super careful on this one because it's a painting, but if it was on a big piece of paper you do with your kids, you don't have to be so careful to do it much quicker than I'm doing at the moment. I'm going to do them individually now because uh, I kind of can't see where I put the glue once it's slightly dry. Oh, I think I should add some lights, shouldn't I? I forgot about the lights. I wonder if you have a Christmas tradition of making some decorations, perhaps. As a kid, I used to make lots of little creatures with my mom, like mice are made out of uh, nut shells and nuts. Uh, we made lots of stars, like uh, with paper stars. Time for the candles. Um, I'm not sure, yellow or white or both. So that will be the last, I think, the last part. I really enjoyed the little project. I hope you did too. I just wanted to say that every time you make something inspired by my videos, I would really like to see that piece. And so if you could send it to me via Instagram, every Friday, I call it the fun, uh, the fun Friday, I share it with my followers in my story. It's really nice to see your work as well. It's very rewarding for me seeing that people actually uh, take time and make something inspired by my video. Uh, not sure which color would be best for the flame. I'll start with yellow. Oops, oh that's a lot. Okay, I think I might use a brush instead. Very, very bright. Wow, that's so cool. I wasn't sure about the yellow, but I must say I'm pretty pleased. I'm just dropping a tiny bit of yellow liquid acrylic. Well, I think it's finished. Or some people ask me, how do you know it's finished, when it's finished? Well, honestly, I finish when I feel happy about it. So I think, yeah, that's that's fine with me. And I think those little candles, they were just the icing on the cake. And it looks pretty cool. I'm going to take you for a close-up now. Well, so you can see all the amazing detail now. The glitter, the different shades of glitter. I'm quite fond of the silver little icicle uh, bubbles. And... Actually, those red round ones are pretty nice as well. So with, with the glue, you can make any shape you want and then you use the glitter and it actually, uh, yeah, sort of holds it really nicely. I do like the candy cane as well. Well, that was fun. I hope that encouraged you to decorate your Christmas tree or to make some fun Christmas decorations. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to tell you that my giveaway is still going on. If you haven't watched my previous video, please watch it. I'm giving away five amazing huge boxes of beautiful uh, artscape paints. And I'm also giving away uh, the painting of my airwoman. So that will be pretty awesome. Uh, the end of the giveaway is next week on Saturday and I'll be announcing the, the winners. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Christmas tree decorating and if you did, please press like and don't forget to subscribe 
uh, click the notification button so you know when my new video is coming. And you can also join me every Saturday when my videos premiere and then I can chat to chat to you and I can answer your questions. If you want to help support my channel more, you can use my affiliate link in the description. I receive a very small commission from those products and it helps me create more videos for you at no additional cost. Well, thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.